Yeah, I'll do that for you, Shadow. Good evening, HP. Right, game 105. Here we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. Could be an issue here. I think this is Japanese language and my new phone doesn't have the translating gap on it yet. So this could be a bit of a slow start. <laughs> yep. <laughs> One minute. Oh, fucking hell. All right, come on, Play Store. Yeah, only because I dropped my last one in the toilet skin. <laughs> That's in. I know. I'm uh, dealing with it. It's okay, I, I will translate for you. Thanks to my mate Google. Just uh, downloaded the app. Oh, it's in, it's in. We're away. Okay. I was also trying to pour a beer then. Look at me, just fi I'm just wasting your time here, guys, aren't I? And this... <laughs> right, okay. Phone is a go. Camera. Open. Allowed. Come on, you can do it. This is going wonderful. Oh, wait, English to Spanish? No, 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 no. There's no language auto detect here. Chai J. Oh, that's a download. To English, please. Begin or continue and options. <laughs> yep, nailed it. Controller setting, sound setting, course records. Vibration on. L1 and R1 speed up and slow down. Wait, wait. Oh, shift up, shift down. God, I'm being an idiot there. Accelerate, brake, left, right. Yep, yep, yep. All standard. Okay. Oh. We will play. Cool borders done, Mick Fliskin. Oh, branded. Got branded bikes. All Japanese, of course, but, you know. Hey, Bren. Yeah, this music's banging. Right, we have a Yamaha. Got 300,000 coins. Ah, I'm going to stay with auto for this game. You guys will see why. Oh! <laughs> yes! So, we have... Jen, 41. Uh, I do kind of go by Jen as genuine celebrity. Aya, she's 16. Weighs 43 kilos. Got Ryu. He's 17. Very, very stern looking 17 at 59 kilograms. Bob. With his green afro. 55 kilograms. May. Also 50. 22. God, how old are you? And Jen. Actually, the person who's both closest to my age and weight. I think we gotta go with Jen. <laughs> oh, 
All right, let's go. Oh, new game day is always fun, isn't it? Is it a bit loud? Oh, it is. Oh. Alright, we should be okay. So those pictures were for nothing because we're all wearing helmets. Ah, oh, guys, you're not gonna believe it. This game sucks. Oh, we got a whole break to make it steer. If you don't believe me, I've got my inputs on screen. This is everything I thought it would be. Come on, Jen. <laughs> that fucking mid-air steering. I think that only works if you hold brake in mid-air. Because I am the oldest and therefore largest of the characters, Shadow. God, this is terrible. <laughs> Music's still a bit too loud, I think. It's... Oof. Well, that's a ride, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, we need, we need a second or better, better to clear. Game needs to be beat, HP. What are these? Race start. Oh, we can change riders. We got machine selection slash purchase. Course. Woods factory mountain. We need 15 points from the three races to clear the class. Okay. 
And bikes are about 300,000, so we don't have enough to upgrade yet. Right, let's go. Uh, three ranks and three tracks in this class skin. We wait and see. <laughs> oh no, no, you take that back. Supermarket sweep was good. <laughs> you love supermarket sweep. Because when you hear the checkout and you hear the beep, just think of the fun you could be having on supermarket sweep. I was hoping there might be something to turn the engine sounds down there. Yeah, rest in peace, Dale. Great presenter. Is this camera angle? It's like first person if the guy was twice the height. <laughs> no, nah, I think Ryland's probably the best option for the modern one, but he's still not as good. But also, I did watch one of the Rylan episodes and they'd overcomplicated it to kind of pad out the episode. So like, why was Fizz from Corrie sat in an office adding nothing? And like, there was all sorts of other jank in there that they'd put to pad it out. It's like, it's just, I want quizzing and shopping, get on with it. How much is RB sandbagging? Good question. <laughs> we'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. I, I, I guess because RB got first in FB1. But yeah, they, they need to sell the second team if that's all they're going to do with it. I suppose if they just hold on for another season or two to their second team and Andretti are getting more and more desperate to find a way in, that'll probably be huge, huge profits. Yeah, I know, HP. <laughs> All part of the challenge. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, I think we have cleared this class, but I just need to tick off this race anyway. <laughs> um I will go back for extra wins if I find I need the money, Shadow. Not before. There will be no precautionary... The money stockpiling here.
Oh yeah, you know my opinion of shopping. Not a fan. Anyone who watched my Gran Turismo 2 playthrough, where I tried to basically find my way through with as few purchases as possible. <laughs> I did it! I pretty much got through the whole game without currency grinding. Everyone's like, oh, you're gonna be, you gotta do this race with this car if, you, if you're gonna beat this. It's like, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it, and I never did. I probably did hold myself up early on, but once I hit a little tipping point, it's fine. Well, I only played it for the first time yesterday, Addict, and I haven't bought anything yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I stayed up late last night trying to beat Bren's times on last month's monthly rivals. And I saw you, Bren, beating them at 3 a.m. <laughs> but especially someone on the first go of the game. <laughs> that hairpin just does not work in this game. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> No, I think, because um, you're on auto gears for that, so I think manual might have been, even though it was only a three speed, might have been a. Might have been a help. Cool. Oh, we've got. We've got live action footage. I think it was just about eight different shots of the same wheelie, but that is still hype. <laughs> All right. We are in class novice now. No? Hold on. Let me get a translator. Here's the thing though, Shadow. No, they didn't. <laughs> they didn't have to fill anything. Machine selection purchase. Oh, so I probably need to buy the next class of bike. Which will be faster. Alright, we just had a Yamaha. Let's go for a Honda this time. Right, so... We've got what looks like three classes of bike. What? So, this is the basic one, and I think I've got the Yamaha equivalent of this. At 80cc. 
Then you have the 124 CC, which is sold out. 250 CC, which is all that. But then you've got the XR 250, which is also 250 CC, which is on sale. Why, why can't I buy the mid ones? Up, down to change class in course select. Let me just go have a look at Yamaha while I'm here. Thanks, thank, thank you, Skin. This one's a bit different. It doesn't have... Right. I see. So it's three tracks. We have to do novice, middle, and then I'm guessing a pro level. Hmm. Okay. Should we just be Yamaha fanboys? I still can't buy a 125. Hmm. Oh well. Strange. I prefer Kawasaki. <laughs> Now you see, as a musician, Dadson, I would naturally go for the motorbike and keyboard emporium. As a musician who hates shopping, I would definitely go Yamaha so I can buy my keyboard and motorbike in one place. Not much of a brandy, a brand person myself, so yeah. But I don't really do brand loyalty. Hello, mate. Oh, yeah, the. Oh, nice had it. You play skin with the shopping advice. <laughs> what if I could skin? longer yeah well safety first unfortunately when it comes to bikes and you know as a rider you can be as safe as you can but it only takes one idiot on the phone to to have an accident that will be much worse for you than them. Popping the side seems quite forgiving. Well, now I don't want to do it. But yes, it is. There was a hairpin, I think, on the second track. And you pretty much just rode the wall round without any penalty. Are you saying this um, game is applying physics inconsistently, Shadow? Because it totally is.
I think if I'm holding... No, no, I've immediately disproved that point, so I'll stop making it. Exactly. It's a shame it's that way. It's like when I used to go cycling on public roads. I still do occasionally. I always, like, or even just crossing the road. My approach is always in a fight between me and a car. The car's gonna win, so I behave accordingly. You know, I never trust anyone to do the right thing. Because I've got so much more to lose than them. Finito! Okay. So, we could probably skip a track in this uh, class then, if I win track two. Let's see, sorry, I'm just pouring my beer. Drake's left in the car, let's get rid. Right. <laughs> oh, good old cycling infrastructure, eh? It's, it's typical short-sightedness, that. Can I buy another bike yet? Nope. Might be four levels of uh, races then. I do hope this game is a one shot though. You might be shocked to hear that I am not enthused about the idea of spending 10 hours plus on this game. <laughs> It would be great, Skin. My record is four games in a stream. That was a good night. Yeah, it's not great slots. <laughs> nah. Your dad wants to get a Dacia Logan Shadow. Those things are bulletproof. Oh, it's not a motorbike, but yeah. <laughs> Teasing. Are you saying your father is the problem? Yep. Yep, Mick. It's. Right, I know I've mentioned this several times tonight, guys, but i just got to keep pushing it. We're doing the Community Challenge this month, Forza Horizon 5. Check out the Discord if you want to know how to get involved. Or just add me on Xbox Live. My username is Gen, G-E-N, space, Celeb, C-E-L-E-B. And the winner of the Monthly Rivals gets to pick a game for the PS1 Challenge. 
We don't have Forza, but you have either Xbox or PC. We have uh, free, what's the word, free trials for Xbox Game Pass that you can use. Should be fun. Just have to warn you, you've got to do like an hour or two of the solo campaign to unlock the multiplayer. But it's a pretty fun game, so it's not a big deal. What happens if you only have a Sega Dreamcast HP? I'm afraid. Unless you can, unless you got a PC or an Xbox, I'm afraid you won't be able to partake in this challenge. But there will be other challenges in the future. Some using emulation. I think we'll be going for Gran Turismo 1 emulation challenge for April. You know, assuming people give a shit about taking part. <laughs> What? Everyone who's bought a ticket for our gig on Saturday has received an email to say the show's been moved. <laughs> How have you done that, Slops? Is there some form of pop concert happening this weekend, Slops? <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. You bought this beanbag. Why not come to the show? <laughs> it is a genuine risk these days without paper tickets. You can just buy something and forget you've got it. Oh, these tracks are in reverse. Pick up. <laughs> yeah, mission success. I think I've already picked my review for this game. Because, here's the thing, this is not the worst game I've played. It's not a good game. I think anyone with eyes can see that. 
Anyone with ears can certainly hear that. But it's better than circuit beat. So that is my threshold for shite in this challenge now. Zoo's probably not going to be great if the weather's bad tomorrow, Slops. All the animals will be hiding. Gonna get a refund because it's raining a bit. Probably not in Blackpool. a good zoo. Otherwise we won't be going tomorrow. I've been meaning to go to Blackpool Zoo for some time now. Whipsnade? I have never heard of Whipsnade. Now, last year I went to Exmoor Zoo in Devon because they have the only shoe bill in the UK. And then uh, because we'd gone all the way to Devon, the day after we went to Coombe Martin Dinosaur and Wildlife Park, which is also good. <laughs> Whipsnade is David Coverdale's fucking. <laughs> cool. I have perfected the middle class. Oh, we get more footage. It is just the same corner over and over again. Yeah, we're just showing the same clip again and again. <laughs> right. Okay, we have unlocked... No. We have unlocked the upper class. And we've got a fourth track. There's some big prize money there. Like the prize money for Mountain is the price of an entry level bike. Hmm. Can I buy a better bike yet? Ah, that's in yen though, Dadson. It's like chocolate money. I've got 931,000. Oh, one, two, fives are on sale now. Oh, is that, is that a bug with the Honda then? We have this. I think it's been sequenced wrong. Ah, it's only half the power of the 250R. What's the deal with this XR250? Because it was on sale straight away when the only other bikes I could buy were 80cc. How about Suzuki? Let's have a look at Suzuki. Was it Suzuki you were into, Dadson? Oh, it was Kawa, wasn't it? Okay, Suzuki does the same thing. It has a... A heavy bike. That's it. The, the weight's really high. And that does it as well. We've got a fat boy bike. I 
All right, just for you, Dadson. Gonna buy a Kawasaki. Um, how do I change my bike? All right, let me get Translatey Boy back out. Our oh, machine selection and purchase. So I bought it, and yet it didn't auto-equip it. Right, you have to select it again. There we go. New bike. Cool. 45 messages on WhatsApp while I've been streaming. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> So much for an early night tonight. Well, also because I started a fucking another game, didn't I? Yeah, mum and dad, leave Paul alone. <laughs> no, Supermarket Sweep already came back with Rylan. It's the rumoured bullseye return that I'm worried about because that's meant to have Paddy McGuinness. Although I suppose he's probably less racist than Jim Bowen, so that's a good thing. But it's a bad sign when the only nice thing you can think of some thing to say about somebody is less racist than his predecessor. <laughs> he has a reputation for being like a bit of a kiss of death for TV shows, but to be fair to him in this instance, like Bullseye is already dead, so you know. All he'd be failing to do is resurrecting it. Oh, Dave Spikey just didn't look interested, did he? I saw Dave Spikey in a pub once. He'd gone out for uh, some Sunday pints at a quiet boozer in Blackrod. And this would have been a good 20 years ago. Oh shit, I'm full of that racist now. So back when he was actually famous because of Phoenix Nights. And, uh, so he sat at the table next to my family's table with his wife, uh, who I assume was his wife. And then my dad, you know that voice when you're ostensibly whispering, but it's actually meant to be heard by everyone? My dad does that. He goes, here, Paul! That's Dave Spikey on the table next to us. <laughs> go, go, go and get a piece of paper from the bar. Let's get his autograph. Uh, apparently, he was just pulling every distasteful face he could imagine. <laughs> of course, I was a shy teenager. And I just went, fuck off, Dad. Leave him alone. Leave Dave Spikey alone. I 
swiping left on a Tinder profile because all she said was that she loves Bullseye. Wait, left is reject, isn't it? Because I, I totally would have gone... I would have swiped right on someone who said that they loved Bullseye. Because that, that at one point in my life, Bullseye was pretty much my personality, so, you know, I get it. Bums. Ah, oh, man. That's such a good flow. Right, we're going to take second because it's better than third. <laughs> very true, Beardy. Very true. Welcome in, mate. How are you doing? Bullseye is a show with the bull called Bully where you win like eight, eight prizes. Yes, skin. But then to win the grand prize, you have to gamble all your prizes for the opportunity to do it. No worries, Addict. Thanks very much for hanging out, mate. Hope you have a safe trip home. Catch up with you soon, buddy. Oh, it's four tracks now. So we're going to need some wins at least. It was a mix. It was random HP. And, uh, in fact, because I, I do watch the reruns on TV quite, quite regularly. And there was the perfect one. I'm going to pause the game for this. This is, I can't, can't have my story spoiled by the same comp. Let me pause. Let me pause. So you had a few, like the most common ones were a holiday, a car, a caravan, or a speedboat. There was occasional other ones. Yes, skin, a speedboat. It was quite a quite a regular prize. Anyway, what they did on Bullseye, like I say. If you were the winner, you'd win a bunch of prizes on the prize board, but then you'd have to gamble the prizes to have a go at the main one. And obviously you could say no, and if someone said no, they would bring on the second place team and they would bet their, bet their, instead bet their prize money. And they could say no, and then they'd bring on the final team and they would, they would bet like the 100 quid that they earned coming in last. And once I saw an episode where even the third place said, no, we'll keep the money, and it just ended the show. But this isn't the story. The story was the, w the winners said no to the gamble, so they brought on the second place team. They had something like 300, 400 quid pounds prize money. And they said, so no, because one of them was saving up his money to go to Australia to visit family that he hadn't seen in years and 400 pounds to paraphrase would go a long way so they brought on the final place team they had like 100 quid and they went for it and it's for those who don't know you have to score 101 in six starts 101 or more and it's theoretically easily done but there's a lot of luck in there Anyway, they went in, they absolutely smashed it. They got the 101 in four darts. And now, guess what the prize was? Bearing in mind why, sec why I told you what, why second place kept their money. They won a holiday to Australia. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> 
they must have set up that prize. Like the second place team must have said, I I'm hoping to get to Australia. So they've done that prize especially. <laughs> and someone else won it after they said no. <laughs> it was one of the funniest moments I've ever seen. I loved it. The other weird prize, because as I say, those were the mo main four. Those were the main four prizes, but occasionally they threw other ones in. And there was this one episode where it was basically the two guys. They were two coal miners. That was their jobs. One was like a big. With all due respect to the guy, he was big. He clearly loved his pies. There were two guys from Yorkshire. The other guy was he was like five foot tall. Bearded, like, you know, the guy who's everyone's mate in the pub, but he goes home and be lonely. He'd look like that. And they won. They went for the gamble, and they didn't win a caravan or a speedboat or a car. They won £2,000 of fashion vouchers. Two of the least interested in fashion-looking guys you could ever imagine. A fashion shopping spree. And they had like models modeling the sort of clothes you could buy. It was so awkward. Right, let's play some shitty bikes. Oh. <laughs> I love Bullseye, but yeah. Why they thought that was a good price for Bullseye, eh? A game show where 90% of the contestants are men. And that's just a function of who would apply to play it. Yeah, £2,000 uh, fashion shopping spree. You get other ones, like, there was ones, like, just a suite of kitchen white goods. And you, you know, you'd probably be a bit meh if you were hoping for a car. Is there any better image than a dog with a stick so large they can't get through a gate or a doorway? And then they can't work out how to get through the doorway, but they refuse to let go of the stick. How good's that? <laughs> oh yeah, beauty. Always the way. Couple of lads in uh, from Sheffield or something. I was like, with, with the fashion prize skin, neither of them were threatening. They were like both nice, friendly looking fellas. But they were the sort of guys who just, at the weekend, they just wanted to chill out, watch a bit of football, have a few pints down the pub. 
and have absolutely zero interest in how they dressed. They were both in bog standard pants and polo mech shirts, you know. Because that would have been the easiest thing to buy. I've just realized there's a arcade for Q timer. Well, there's a hundred seconds on it. <laughs> That better not become an aspect later in the game. Um, sorry to pause it. Have you seen that graffiti on the wall there? Literally a cross and the word God. Just to the right of the pause sign. Fucking hell. What a... well... Just a strange choice of graffiti. For a Japanese dirt bike game. Yeah, it can always be worse HP. <laughs> Coming over here, taking our religion. Yeah, that phrase didn't work, whatever. <laughs> Repeating our walls with their their slogans. <laughs> Skin. <laughs> I knew I VIP'd you for a reason. <sighs> it's not just you, madame. We all fucking hate the engine noise in this game. <laughs> all right, let's go mountaineering. There. Jesus in it, love, peace, eight Romans, simple as. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely glad I'm not using manual gears on this. Did you see how quickly it spams through from first to six? Right, so is there any is there any kind of comedy or anything ever depicted Jesus Christ as a cockney geezer? Because I think that would be fucking hilarious. We're asking the important questions here tonight, guys.
So you notice when the bike's in air, the rider does the slightest little raising his arms to the sky. Is that actually by design or is the game bugging out? I can't decide. Because it happens so brief. Here we go. Pay attention here. Watch his arms. Oh, he didn't do it there. Oh, there. Must have been just a little bit bugging or something. That happens is ridiculous. Now, we've still got another class of bike to go at skin. I generally, what I'm generally finding, and I think I found this in every class, is that track one is that twisty. That it's a bit of a challenge, but then the other two are just a bit more open, and as you can see, I'm not particularly struggling to bring home the bacon. Now, we haven't done track four yet, so we'll find out the deal with that in momentarily. But tracks two and three, this easy. Oh, fuck, clip the wall. Remember when I was saying this was piss easy? Still true. <laughs> Running over a duck. Oh, we need cam here then, don't we? He likes his ducks. Two more points to clear the upper class. Here we go. We've not raced the stadium yet. Let's have a look at the map. There's a. I can... What's with that spiral in the middle? That could be a faff. But 400,000 uh, yens for the win. <laughs> I'll vote for you. If that's a manifesto promise, Beardy Dan, the Beardy Man, I will vote for you. Ah, that roly-poly, that's the phrase I wanted, HP. 
Track's a bit narrower. Oh no, I don't want to reverse. Not my fault your game sucks. I think we're in Roly Poly Town now. In try hard mode for a moment, catch up the comments in a minute. Selfish course with its constant radii. Bums. Not last. I've never played Twisted Metal HP. <laughs> does it really say Gar? God, it does. <laughs> Good spot skin. Go back to something Bren said earlier about the penalty for wall collisions. Seems that there is a slowdown if you're on the ground when the collision happens, but if you're just bashing off the wall in midair, there doesn't seem to be a penalty. Which is why I can cheese that hairpin on one of the tracks because I'm never on the ground. Wants to get yeeted around there.
on, give me one more place. I need two points. Yes, no. Yes. I don't know what the points are for third, fourth, or fifth, but it's clear. We'll have it. Four points for third, so it probably was uh, two points for fourth. Better to be sure. Oh, we get another repeat of this guy just going on this mud bank again and again and again. One, two, three, four. Only four goes on the mud bank. They're getting cheap. By the way, for those who missed it, we had a banger selection of games for the new vote. I will remind ye all. Option one, Roll Cage Stage 2. Option two, F1 Racing Championship. Option three, V Rally 2. <laughs> uh, channel points, there's vote buttons there, HB. So only vote for one game because I will reject if you vote for multiple. And then you can vote once per stream. Okay, we have unlocked the expert class. Cool. Okay, the 250cc bikes are now available, and they're well affordable. I, I can afford two of them. Well, I've done Yamaha and Kawasaki, so Suzuki or Honda. I don't think the choice will make any difference beyond the colour. So first say, Honda's red, Suzuki's yellow, which one? Actually, wait. Honda's 98 kilos. It's not the correct yellow, so... Well, the Honda is 97.8 kilos, the Suzuki is 98 kilos. But that's a new already picked the Kawasaki. Ooh. No, he did a full lots of <laughs> Well, no one else has spoken, so it looks like you get a second choice. There we go. If someone suddenly comes in with uh... <laughs> Is that right? Oh, that's the worst, aren't they? Okay. Expert Cup. This could be the final stretch. Unless it's a pro expert. Fuck. I, I didn't change bike. You have to buy it and then you, you don't get auto equipped with the bike. Which is a bit of a faff. Oh, fuck. So you have to buy it and then you have to go in again. And you'll notice there's no on sale thing. And then you pick the transmission. And now, I'm on the bike. Ah! 
Sagar. The old Sagar. This is not exclusive to Jen. He did it there, the little blue with the arms. Woo. Up to five lap races now. Ah, piss man. Garfield. Oh no. Boo. That's actually pretty good. But also, boo. As you can see, collision detection is excellent. Yeah, I feel the same way, Skin. I hope there's not a fifth track has been snuck in as well. I forgot to check. Yeah, it was just five, Bren, it was just five faces and sets of stats and honestly I couldn't tell if I'm the 42 year old man I'm playing as or the 16 year old girl because they've all got the same build as well, even though I've got a bunch more kilos apparently. It's just one model, isn't it? Except apparently one of those is a someone half my weight and the opposite gender and less than half my age Sorry, HP. It occurred to me, as soon as I said gender, that I should probably have gone for the word sex. I'm, I'm working on it.
Oh, I know you were joking about, mate. I was joining. Kind of joining in. But at the same time, I do have trans friends, so it is. It doesn't matter to me to get it right. But at the same time, I don't think it's not. It's practice, doesn't it? Like everything. in there, Lewis. Mate is a valid approach. <laughs> yes, you should, Slops. That is a good idea. That is also a good idea. The, um... The weather forecast for the zoo tomorrow has mellowed a little, but it's still wet. Oh, God, a piss apron would probably be good for slops, Dan, because that'd also work on rainwater. Do they have beavers at Blackpool Zoo? <laughs> um, well, you know, just make sure you got a change of clothes, I would say. You don't want to be in a four hours stood in a wet zoo clothes on stage. just been reminded a story of a story of another time when I got wet in Blackpool who were now with, with a previous partner we went on a couple's day out to Blackpool Pleasure Beach uh, for those who don't know that's that's just a theme park and there's a log flume ride called Valhalla. And um, we went on. And in the queue, you can buy ponchos. And she decided to buy a poncho. I didn't really have change and I didn't really care anyway. So I... Decided not to pay three pounds for a poncho. It, cause I'm, I'm from Lancashire, I'm tight fisted, yeah. And my partner offered to buy me a poncho. I declined. And then she was going, Oh, you gotta be really jealous when I'm nice and dry. And you're soaking wet through. Don't you come complaining to me, because I offered. Is really rubbing it in about how comfortable and a nice time she's going to have on Valhalla. Well, I'll be miserable and soaking wet through. Anyway. On this ride, we didn't even get to the first drop. They have some kind of uh, spray. Like, just some water spray. It's like a waterfall thing on the way in. <laughs> Slots already knows the story. And we go through it. <laughs> and <laughs> she's at the top of the voice, she goes, The poncho's rubbish! <laughs> I'm drenched already! <laughs> uh. 
Oh. Happy times. Zip. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I really hope this is the last class because this game's not very fun. Hey, Slotch, we could cancel the gig on Saturday and spend uh, spend the day on Blackpool Pleasure Beach instead. It's first day of the season on Saturday. It is a 10 lapper pro class skin, and this game's going to go to a second stream. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you can't postpone it a second time. <laughs> yes, yeah, Lops, Bren's got a point there. You've already burned all the um, rearrangement goodwill. So, better not risk it. <laughs> See, unlike Crazy Fest, we sell tickets. I mean, not enough to fill Haydock Racecourse, but enough to not embarrass ourselves in Retro Bar, at least. Probably more than that clown put into. Um, what's that venue called in Wigan now? Oh, I've forgotten the name. The Boulevard. <laughs> and a picture of what? The Boulevard? I've been there before. Yeah, small gigs all the time. Oh, what? Haydock Race Park. Race course. There's plenty of pictures of that. What have you found a picture of? Oh, God, no. He was still after his uh, mug. <laughs> Wouldn't you like a t-shirt which says the reason I can't wear shorts and then there's a cartoon of a, a, a short fat man with his knob and balls hanging out at the bottom of the shorts. I've, I'm sure I've seen that in Blackpool before. <laughs> oh, it's a 32-pointer, this cup. Good. And even better news, there is not a fifth track. Let's just hope there isn't a... Uh... A 
25th difficulty tier. This shouldn't be. Let's go mountaineering. What is the worst bit of mildly sexual Blackpool tat that money can buy? Because you've got this guy films loves genitals. Got the reason we can't wear shorts. Actually, I'm sure this is the last cut. Because we went normal way around the tracks, reverse tracks. Normal reverse. So why would there be a fifth? That made no sense. Alright, if a boff will win here. It means I only need two points from the final race, which I think is just a not last finish. Which would suit me because the last track sucks with the roly poly inspired layout. Oh, there's a carousel on the left there. Oh, I'm glad I'm not going to Pleasure Beach now. Not glad. Sad. 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 I meant sad. Did I say glad? Sad. I don't know what I said. Stream brain. Shit. Why was that person suddenly huge? Scaling is just clearly all wrong on the AIs. Oh no! Uh, 108 will be a third? Yeah, we're getting there. Uh, so I'm ahead of schedule for the year as well. I set myself a target of doing 60 games this year. Which will be five a month. But this will be my 15th game completed this year. Which means I'm five ahead of that. Which is nice, because I'd actually, even though I've set a challenge to get to 150, I'd love to get to 50%, which I think is 164. Just to, you know, be over the hump, proverbial hump, you know.
Yeah. Back here, bim bean bag. I really need these points. Yes. Okay, there was a little bit of challenge there. I had to work for it a little. Right. I think, let's say, can't be sure. Two points from this track, that could be game done. Which will suit me down to the ground because at game 106 is Destruction Derby 2, if I remember correctly. I'm looking forward to that one. That, that's a big name. And we won't be starting that tonight. This we're hitting about cut off time. Because, you know. <laughs> Alas, the challenge is mostly crap. I've got used to it. <laughs> also means if anyone's not cast the vote for the uh, new selection, now's your time. I suppose you could skin. I could do the good games only PS1 racing challenge. <laughs> yeah, it's my challenge. I make the fucking rules. I know what slots is going to vote for. Now he's going to pick a different game just to spite me. Nailed it. I mean, V-Rally 2 would be a shout if we didn't do V-Rally like five games ago. Four games ago. But I think that's going to tank that as an option. And the F1's just... Looks fine. But then it's Roll Cage 2, isn't it? Because the lookup I did on V Rally 2, it does look really good. But like I say, just done V Rally. So, why would the demands be there? I'll have to look into it. <laughs> That's a shout, that. It could be. The thing is, though, if it is a DMCA trap, I can just play it anyway. Twitch will mute the VOD. Ah, I don't give a shit. But I record the VODs locally now instead of downloading them. Because what a What's the point in that? Like, I just record as a stream. So, Twitch mutes don't affect VODs. Like, the, the ones I put on YouTube specifically. And then, typically, I haven't had any issue with any upload to YouTube. There are some which is, uh, you know, detect copyright and say, 
the owner allows it to be used on YouTube anyway. And the only alternative I've had is on the Road Rash streams, where I think one of my VODs got blocked in Russia because the song title referred to God or something. And he gives a fuck about Russia, eh? If you, like, the only other experience I have of stuff getting blocked on YouTube in a region, because I uploaded my Christmas 2020 show to my other channel, and Land Down Under, on my Christmas cover of it, got blocked in a particular country. For some reason, it's New Zealand. If you try and watch my 2020 Christmas sh VOD in New Zealand, one of the songs gets cut out. The thing is, men at work aren't even, they're Australian. <laughs> Why New Zealand? Well, at least I think they're Australian, correct me if I'm wrong. I mean, where's Nabbas when we need him? I have one viewer from New Zealand, and he's too busy visiting his family in New Zealand to watch me play a terrible dirt biking game. <laughs> Was that a back marker just stuck in the road? Because I overtook him. I didn't gain a place, so he must be lapsed down. Yeah, I thought so, which makes... It's so weird that that one song is blocked in New Zealand. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, 34 out of 32 points. Here we go. Oh, men without hats. No, I thought land down under was men at work. Oh, do we get credits for this game? No, just jaunty angle. <laughs> I, I, I would expect the credits to be part of the video file rather than an overlay skin. Yeah, I love about <laughs> NBA game that showed a full video of <laughs> that's amazing.
Right. We'll double check. Yeah, there's no... That's game done. I was going to say, yeah, men at work. I saw him live at Academy 2, I think in 2018, 2019. They weren't that good. They weren't that good. I remember uh, I'd gone on my own. The only song I truly enjoyed was Land Down Under. But... Um... <laughs> no one wanted to put their name to it. Um, the singer he came out with a line saying like oh don't go home to just be on your own blah 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 and uh, it's like oh it's like this really uplifting like go out embrace the world so instead of going straight home I went to the pub had a pint on my own got bored and went home anyway what a letdown right pause you where's my spreadsheet where's my super suit I'm gonna need the game select wheel as well Ah, oh, close YouTube. We're gonna need a YouTube tab. Right, simple fifteen hundred series, one hour forty eight. Puts us to six hundred forty seven, forty one. And it was a one streamer. Okay, so this will be the spin for game 109. So we're going to put beat all difficulties because we didn't know the game for that. Name, aim, blah, blah, blah. And c actually, oh, no, no. I've beaten two games on the 29th of February in this challenge. And they will, should be the only two. Uh, no, no more today, Brent. I've... This is end of stream. Because I've got to drive to Blackpool tomorrow and do a pop concert. And then on Saturday, I've got to drive back to Manchester and do a pop concert. This game. What are my thoughts about this game? It's not a good game. The best way I can describe it is cheap tat. Now, it's not the worst game I've played because they didn't overtune the AI. They knew what they were and they did not make a terrible deal out of it. So that's fine. That means it's better than Circuit Beat, which took nine hours of my life for just as much content because they overtuned the piss out of that. So this game gets a two out of ten. Now we need to draw game 109. Should we spin a wheel? Let's spin a wheel. <laughs> I will add it for your chat. I will do it on stream before I leave, just for you. Could have some Japanese junk here. <laughs> I'll just paste that in there. Color it yellow. You go to YouTube. Let's have a peek. Let's have a peek. Now, before the peek, just because Shadow is being very diligent. So, our vote so far. On the reward queue, there is one vote for game three, five for game one, and I am also adding one for Shadow, who can't vote for game two because of Twitch. However, I said Japanese, and jank isn't a racial term. But if you shorten it, maybe. But I am not an authority on the matter. Uh, 
Um, looks fine. Oh, wait, wait. Here we go. Yeah, the car's movement and my understanding of physics. Not aligning. Camera's rigid behind the car, so you can't see through the corners. What do I know about physics? I learn about physics every time I get too pissed and smack my face into the ground, mate. Specifically, the gravity element of physics. Oh, right, we've got a cat. Ooh. The music's very quiet, but it could have been the person filming who made it that way. Yeah, but because Initial D had everything Eurobeat ever in it. I love Initial D. <laughs> it's the same people who do, used to do the credits, isn't it? Right, a different song, but the same people. Good night, dudes. Have a good one. Move we got. The only person I can raid is Kusa. I feel like I'm raiding too much. Oh, I added all those. Let's give them a complete. Yep. Save you. It's time to raise and leave you guys because, like I say, I can't do a super late one tonight. <laughs> all right, one more check. I think the in-game music's just a bit quiet, so I'll have to fix that when I play it. But yeah, that's game 109. Before that, we have Destruction Derby 2. We have Rallycross and San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing. Thanks loads for joining me tonight, guys. Two games beaten. Absolutely delighted when I was unsure if I had the energy to even uh, stream tonight. But here we go. Good fight, good night. Uh, so yeah, thank you. The raid from Lullaby, the subscription from Didsbury Dan, and for everyone else, thank you very much for your company. I appreciate it loads as always. I have a lot of fun doing this challenge and I hope you're enjoying it too. Even the jank, I like learning why it's jank, so it's still worth playing for me. I'm gonna go and raid my mate Coos. He's doing, he's trying to be every PS2 rate, not racing, Every PS2 game he can buy. He's currently on Final Fantasy X. But I haven't got anyone else to raid, so we're going to have to raid Coos. <laughs> good fight, good night, guys. I hope to see you again soon. Uh, uh, by the way, as I've already said several times, I'm away Friday, Saturday. Next stream, maybe Sunday, maybe Monday. It's going to depend on my energy because I'm going to drink a lot of pints this weekend. Good night. <laughs>